What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Alpha Sapphire walkthrough. Okay, so... I know I've said this quite a few times, guys, and, uh, well, I kind of realized that well, I ain't got a lot of time to be doing a lot of things, so I'll probably do it in the off-screen off and all that crud. But yes, we gotta get to the main game. We really do. Uh, lots of stuff awaits us and all that crud. So, in our last episode, we started the Delta series... Which includes us, you know, trying to battle some Pokemon trainers, a Dragon Trainer, and all that stuff. Uh, yeah, we got lots of stuff to do, guys. And, wow, for the first time, we are in the nighttime here in Australia. Well, the Australian version of this whole game right here. But we're going to be going straight to the, I think, Granite, Granite Cave? I don't know. We're going to go right here. Yes, the Granite Cave because, well... Something is afoot. Somebody's stealing Mega Stones and, uh, well, not mine because, well, I'm awesome like that. But, yes, we, 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 we gotta save the world, I guess, from something. Apparently there's this big old meteorite that's about to hit the, the Earth. Like, six miles wide. That is, uh, that, 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 that's a lot. So, anywho, let's go right ahead and, uh, find this person. Of course, we found, uh, Steven Stone. He told us all about that, you know, hey, you know, we... Go to the place where we first met and all that crud. And look at that. Zubat ready to take on us. And here we have good old Thunderball because, well, Thunderball is Thunderball. We're going to be moving away from this because we got stuff to do. And I probably should put on a repel just for, like, you know, easy, easy peasy, let me squeezy walks. And, well, here we are in front of the big old stone tablet or the wall. And as you guys can see... We got Kyogre just destroying everything, and, uh, well... Hmm, hmm, hmm. Well, it seems like it's true. It really is just like the wall painting there. This one shows primal, primal Reversion, while the other one shows Mega Evolution. I guess that proves it once and for all. Our great ancestors once lived here, too. The ancestors who passed down through me the knowledge of how the, to protect the world, how to avert the threat that will appear from space as, as long as foretold... From the place higher even than uh, the heavens. Mum. That's right. What is it, Aster? Oh. And uh, would you look at that? She found us and she's like, We do seem to meet, a, uh, meet an awful lot, Draven. Are you also interested in this old painting? Or are you here for the other? For the one in meteorite shards that can serve us as a source of power for the legendary Pokemon that lives in the heavens above. Either way... You know I adore you. That's it. I can't help it. I have to battle you. I'll play nice, though, and I'll ask first. Are you ready to battle me? Yes, I am. Well, that's my boy. Now, let's do it. Give me the good taste of everything you got you and your Pokemon have to offer. Whatever you say. Okay, so here we go. Taking on Pokemon trainer Zinnia. And, wow, she, she's got, she, she, she's definitely, whoa, ho, ho, whoa, that is a new one. And if you guys don't know, that Pokemon's from the Kalos region. Yeah. That's a, that's a Tyrant, Tyrantrum. That is a scary AF Pokemon, level 55. I'm going to go with Gaia the Fierce Knight right here because, yes, Tyrantrum is both a, what, a rock and dragon type Pokemon. Definitely don't want to mess it with, mess with it when it's, uh, yeah, when it has earthquake attack like this. So, yeah, we're going to take a lump right here, and here comes the Moonblast, because, yes, Fairy-type Pokemon are awesome. Bam! Look at that, Tyrantrum. How's it feel to fail? Feels bad, right? Okay, so we're getting some more points right there, and who is next? Here comes Altaria, so let's go right ahead and continue on with uh, Gaia the Fierce Knight right here. And let's go with the Moonblast. Look at this, Moonblast away. And say goodbye to Altaria. Yeah, buddy. Okay. So that's another one. And, uh, well, let's see. Salamence is coming out. So, yeah, this is going to be easy. Easy money right here. Salamence, of course, does have Intimidate, which lowers your physical attack. So, luckily for us, we're not very physical. We're just going to go with a Moonblast attack right here. Moonblast. For the win. And there you go. That's how you win. That is definitely how you win. And just like that, Gaia the Fierce Knight grabs, or goes to level uh, 63. And Leviathan grows to level 66, and just like that, she's happy. She's like, yes, that's it! That's what I was looking for. Don't tell me this is like some Majin Buu kind of stuff, where like, when we win, 
Oh man, this is uh, this is funny. Anywho, that settles it. You get this meteorite shard as a reward, and we get ourselves a meteorite shard for the reward. And uh, let's see, question mark. Something is glowing. That glittering meteorite that you got, you've got there. Hmm, it's sure giving off some vibes. I'd like to keep uh, a tight hold on on it if you, if I were you, along with the shard I just gave you. Look at that, she's eyeballing me. Hey, the actions that you, you are taking now are based on the ideals that you cling to. Or are they based on actual truths? And if they are, how much of the truth do you think you know? Hmm. Mum. Yes, ma'am, moving out. Such a spoiled girl, girl you are. So, what, what'll be our next stop, sweetie? I, I, I don't know. I don't know where the next stop will be. And here we're getting a call, and it's Steven Stone. And he's like, were you able to find a meteorite sh a shard that we need? If you were able to secure it, could you hurry back uh, back to us at the Moss Deep Space Center? I'm afraid we don't we don't seem to have much time left. I'll be waiting for you. Okay. And I didn't even do the accent right there. So, as you guys can see, this stone tablet right here. It's not even a stone tablet. It's just a wall. Uh, it, it, it just talks about, you know primal reversion and all that crud and it's yeah how mo how it almost destroyed the world all that fun stuff now let's see i'm trying to find a max repel yes because i don't want to get attacked by any pokemon right now so let's go right ahead and move out of here and the next stop for this adventure is we're going to be going straight to the what you might call it uh yeah moss deep space center and uh, hopefully we find something cool right there. So let's go right ahead and use our Eon Flute. Yes. How's it going? Okay. I, I usually love this part right here. Bam. And, well, let's go right ahead and get to, what was it called? Moss Deep City. And as you guys can see, yes, we do have some spots right here. Pathless Plain and all that crud. But we're going to be going right here to Moss Deep City, mainly for the Space Center. And let's see what we can actually find right here. Hopefully it's something pretty cool. I don't know. It's usually something fun. Okay. So, Moss Deep City, how's it going? Now, all we need to do now is we have to go straight here. We've already, we've already paid a visit here at one point. And, uh, well, there was no rockets or anything like that. It's just... Yeah, that. So here we are, Moss Deep Space Center, and all we got to do now is we got to go straight up to the second floor. This person will be preventing us from going, but she's going to be like, You must be Draven. Mr. Steven Stone told me he was expecting you. This way, please. Ah, so we got to follow her. Okay, so here we are. Professor Cosmo, if I may interrupt you. Ah, Draven, thank you for coming. And you brought the meteorite shard with you. Well done. And, well, Stephen Stone saying, I was rather surprised to learn that, I, uh, that you knew the professor. You really, you really do seem to make connections everywhere you go. Now then, professor, could I, ask, could I ask you to explain once more about the current plan? Indeed, could, please come this way. So again, there's a meteorite about to hit Earth, and uh, yeah, it's not cool. I imagine that you've heard some of, uh, 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 some of the situation from Professor Stone already. Our current plan involves using the infinity energy within our rocket combined with the life energy of humans found in the keystones. We will start off by artificially rep uh, replicating the massive energy that is triggered at the time of mega evolution. We will fire the energy produced from our rocket into space and create a warp hole. By creating a warp hole in the path of the incoming meteor, meteor, meteoroid, we hope to be able to transport it somewhere far away from here. As a matter of fact, this technology already exists and has been incorporated in some of our com commonly used devices. I think you know what I mean. Those panels that spin uh, you, spin you about and uh, wait, 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 spin you about and then y out uh, you come warped uh, into another spot. I imagine you stepped on a few such. An audacious plan, and using such technology, you would. May I ask where exactly the asteroid will be warped to? Well, we're not entirely sure, but 
We do have a device that links the warp holes. We've named it the link cable, but there's no need to worry. Based on our theory, we can at least guarantee that they will be sending it far away from our planet. However, we've realized that we'll need more energy than originally anticipated to control the link cable properly. I'm sorry to ask this of you, but with one more meteorite shard, and something's happening right here. Oh my god. Nice! So this is the heart of the famous space center everyone talks about. Pretty impressive, huh, Aster? Mirror, mirror. Okay. And this lady's like, excuse me, young lady. You can't just let yourself in here. Oh, where's the harm in it? Don't be such a stick in the mud. Right? Ugh. Uh-oh, something's going on right here. And who are you? You're no sightseer. Oh, me, we do seem to keep running into one another. You are a busy boy, Draven. Wh who are you? What are you doing here? Me? I'm Zinnia, just your regular old tourist, nothing more. Dreaming of uh, taking a little trip into space, huh? <laughs> oh, I see. So this is what uh, has come of human technology and of uh, hope and blood and sweat and tears and, uh, well, the list just keeps kind of getting long and boring. But it contains everything, huh? I know all about it. About just uh, what kind of energy you're using in it to fuel the rocket thing. The abominable technology humanity first brought up 3,000 years ago. And what else? So you're once again planning to claim that uh, this is part of the best part of humanity or the best for the whole darn world? It's a snap of your fingers to repeat the sins of the past. Worse, if what I overheard is true, this time you're about to commit an error more abominable than the before. Tell me, would you rather be sit here wringing our hands wa waiting for the meteorite to strike us? <laughs> What's up with that? You're a pretty simple guy for a former Pokemon League champion. Then I guess I'll hang my hopes on what the current champion will have to say. So how about it, Draven? Do you think... What do you think? Do you have some better idea? Oh yeah, I do. I got a better idea. Oh, really? Well, that's promising. You'll have to tell me so... Uh, you'll have to tell me so we can uh, set these guys straight. Look, I'm not here to criticize the way you guys are looking at this, but I want to be sure you've, uh, you've thought it through well and good. You know, there are necessary sacrifices and there are unnecessary sacrifices. What a disappointment. This is the best that you could all, you could do with all your knowledge and technology. Instead of trying to make uh, something out of nothing, you better repeat the mistakes of the past straight up. No, you're going to add new mistakes on top. That really takes the cake. You guys, you guys need some imagination. Hmm. Oops. But you were all in the middle of the conversation or something, right? Sorry about that. I guess we'll just let ourselves out. Come on, Aster. Mirror, mirror, mirror. Okay, so this chick is, uh, she's an odd one. Quite tantalizing. Cool pose. Who was that woman? And the way she spoke to us. It's almost as if she came here from some kind of confirmation. And yet, I feel as though I should know her from somewhere. Cool pose again. Ah, Professor, forgive me. I believe you were trying to tell us something before the woman interrupted us. Uh, yes. Uh, you see, in order to complete the warp hole, we need we will need another meteorite shard. An extremely pure one. Then should... Oh, wait, this is uh, his accent. I'm, like, I'm going back and forth, guys. Sorry. <laughs> then should we head to the granite cave once again? No, the kind of meteorite shard we need this time can only be found in a meteorite falls. Meteorite falls? I see. Perhaps we will learn something there. I will head to the meteorite falls at once. Follow us as soon as you are ready. I feel we might discover even more than the meteorite shard there. And he walks away coolly and all that stuff. Anywho, uh, yeah, we're going to be pausing it right here, guys, because, well, shoot. Um, I think we've already done everything that we needed to do. Uh, let's see. So, let's see. I, I kind of want to do something. I don't know. Wait, actually, I don't think it's going to happen right now. But it never hurts to check it out. Let's see. We're going to take this out. And... Let's see. Let's see. Oh, yeah, there's a Pokeball right here. We found a revive. Yeah, it was, like, right there for the last X amount of mo months and all that crud. Uh, so, before we, we finish off... So, I've decided that, you know what, I'm just going to complete this whole game and then complete everything I need to do in the Pokedex when it comes to this game and Pokemon Y. And, well, look at that. Uh, it's not there. Okay. 
I was checking for Metagross and all that stuff. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be completing the Pokédex, uh, everything in there. Uh, once this whole game is com is completed, I, I I feel as though that, you know, we've, we've been through how many months of this game, and I don't want to prolong it anymore. So sooner rather than later, we're going to be finishing it off, including with Pokémon Y, because, well, shoot... I'm not only playing this and Pokemon Y, but in the back burner, I'm actually playing Pokemon X and Omega Ruby just so, just so I can start making trades and doing all this, this and that. And then hopefully we'll make a one big ass special about all these games before we move on into Pokemon Sun. So yeah, that, that's, that's going to be fun right there. So anywho, guys, thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys again for being patient as always. I'll be back for another episode of our Pokemon Alpha Sapphire walkthrough. See you guys.